But hang on. Right, okay. I've, I've got questions now. Let's start with Captain Langer. Uh, why did we get an event saying he wrote a letter and he left us, leaving all his office nice and neat and tidy on the train, and disappearing, but then he was there on the ship? Uh, those two events either don't match up or there should be something that explains them joining together, like why he changed his mind or has he brought someone with him? Did he go to, to find um, a lady friend or one of his kids or I don't know, anything like that? Was there something he wanted to go and get and bring back? I don't know. So that should have that should have been there. That was manufactured drama. There should be there should be what happened to the the Tsarist family that we think was it Maria Demidova, if I've remembered that name and pronounced it correctly. Um, I, I'll I'll have an extra mince pie tomorrow because um, I deserve it. What happened with her and the kids that we put off in the snow? Did she make it out? Is there not going to be... Maybe there's something going to be after the credits. Did we do the wrong thing? Was she captured and executed with the, with the children as a result of our decision? What about the guy we brought back on the train after we found out we had TB? That has had no knock-on effect whatsoever, and yet there should be a thing afterwards. Have you guys played Divinity Original Sin 2? It's, it's, it's like Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, it's fantastic. But at the end of that, when you kill the last boss... It's got this wonderful piece of narration and artwork a bit like you see going up the screen now in those photographs. Uh, and it says, it, it basically wraps up every decision you made about who you let live, who you allied with, who you rescued, who you put on the throne, what you did with your godly power at the end of the end of the game. And it plays out what happened to every character as a result of all the choices you made. And there are so many different ways that ending can come. This needs it right here. You see, they took inspiration from the Mass Effect 3 ending, but they just didn't explain anything. So Langer was depressed after the battle with Morozov. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Hey, Craig. Just joining now and beginning from the beginning of your YouTube channel. Wishing everyone the happiest of holidays. Oh, well, thank you very much. And when you get here, several hours on, uh, have a very Merry Christmas, whatever you're doing too. I think it might be even better to keep open due to the civilian war that raged because most things can never be answered. Yeah, but there should have been some... There should have been some consequence of keeping that TB infected guy on the train. Either that, you know, we get back and it says... And uh, we, we kept everyone together, but unfortunately TB ran rampant throughout the ranks, especially on the cramped conditions on the voyage back to, uh, back to Europe. See, that would fit in really well, wouldn't it? Um... Nothing. We got an achievement for keeping him on. Maybe there would have been something for kicking him off. If I play through again, which I probably will, off stream, I think, I'll do that and see if anything different happens. But there should have been a... For some of the decisions, there should be something that ties up things at the end here. Even if it's just like a, a one line. It's like Maria Demidova uh, tried to make it home by herself with a her family in the snow. Fortunately, she was captured or she died of um, exposure or something. Or she made it out to Canada, and they they live there as emigrants to the, uh, to this day, that sort of thing. Do you think that my soldiers have been dying because of the cold, or maybe because of the tuberculosis spreading? Uh, I don't know. It could have been that. There's a couple of there's a couple of things that I I wasn't keeping an eye on the health of the soldiers. Maybe when they were ill, and one of the snipers might have died just from being ill. It could have been the TB that we just don't know. Maybe that was it. Langer also felt bad he looked down on you feeling he should have been promoted to major and been in charge. Yeah, well, we managed to prove him wrong. We never had a rat infestation, did we? Now, maybe that was because I bought the mouse trap things, but we never had a rat infestation. That was one thing I was really worried was going to be a thing, but wasn't. I've got the voice talents here. Additional voices. There's going to be a lot in the game. If I, if I play it through it again, I'll be playing it through with the... Uh, the proper voices in because I'd like to hear what that's like hmm so so much going on there so and so many answers needed yeah it'd be nice poetic one if you could compare my decisions to some of the historical stuff I think this is based on a fictional story 
that was based on the true event. So obviously not everything you see happened, but it is based on some of the, this game is based on similar sort of events that occurred during the, uh, the true story of the Legion. You made some roasted hazelnuts for Christmas. That'll be nice. They, they will be nice. Hmm. Okay, let's skip this. Is that it? The end of the line. Quest finished. Mission finished. Leave? That is it, isn't it? Okay, that last... There's going to be whatever this is. Can we click on that? No, we can't. There's going to be some DLC for this, apparently, or something added in. What's really cool, by the way, if you look in the encyclopedia, this is well worth a good look. There's some interesting stuff in this. So the evacuation from Vladivostok. The evacuation of the Czechoslovak Legion began in the spring of 1919 and continued for several months, with the first departure taking place in April. During the evacuation, a fleet of ships was utilized to transport the legionaries and refugees. This fleet included the USS Sheridan, as well as chartered Japanese, French, and British vessels. The exact number of ships used is not specified, but it can be inferred that multiple ships were involved in the operation to accommodate the large number of individuals being evacuated. The primary destination for the evacuation was Europe, and the specific ports of arrival varied depending on the sea routes taken. One of the destinations was Marseille, a major port city in France. Trieste, a port in present-day Italy, was also among the destinations. Additionally, Constantinople, now Istanbul, served as another port of arrival for the Czechoslovak Legion. Throughout the evacuation, the legionaries faced various challenges and obstacles. Logistical difficulties such as resource allocation and coordinating transportation in a war-torn region presented significant hurdles. The complex geopolitical landscape and encounters with hostile factions further added to the difficulties faced during the evacuation. Despite these challenges, the evacuation was largely successful with the majority of the Legion being safely transported from Vladivostok to Europe. The accomplishment highlighted the resilience, determination and unwavering commitment of the Legionaries to secure their freedom and independence. It played a crucial role in the eventual restoration of Czechoslovak independence, showcasing the triumph of their spirit over adversity. It doesn't say any numbers or times taken to do it, because I think the evacuation finished in 1920, the last ship sailed. And from what I've read, I think it was 60 some thousand were evacuated this way, which is, that's a lot. That's like a hell of a lot. Yeah, I agree, Catherine, it was a good story and a good fight, but that last mission is harder than all the other missions put together. And I lost, I think, more casualties from combat in that one than all the other combat casualties combined throughout the game. So, um, yeah. Okay, I would have liked I would have liked to have seen a few things at the end which just explained the consequences of some of those major decisions I felt I took. And Captain Langer's whatever that was. Uh, but otherwise, I think that that is an excellent game. I really enjoyed it. I I coming off this, I would have said I would play this again instantly. Not necessarily stream it, but I would play it again instantly to do the different choices and take different um, train cars and stuff like that to see the other side of the game, different routes as well. Because I was expecting a rundown of all the consequences of decisions at the end. So I thought, oh yeah, you, you've got to play through to see what would have happened if you'd kept Maria on the train, if you'd done something else, if you'd kicked the TB guy off. But you don't get that. So there's there's like slightly less incentive to play through other than to see some different things. But it's it's really good. I, I would play it again. I have enjoyed it. I'm going to be interested to see what these this assumed uh, DLC is going to be. Yeah, a good game. What do you guys think of it? 